Ooh. So this is the cheapest minimal kind of requirement tablet for uh, digital painting. Uh, I kind of want to go over this because there's a lot of people that want to kind of get into digital painting and they don't, they're saying it's too much money or there's a lot of things that come up. Um, I'm Enrique. Uh, this is easy things to draw. Hopefully you guys are having a really cool day, but, uh, <laughs> This is actually my personal tablet, and I've had a lot of different uh, tablets through the years for digital painting. Um, and in case you don't know what that is, and I'm sure you do know what it is, right? Digital painting would be essentially uh, art that you construct on the computer. Uh, and it's not something you use a mouse with. It is something that uses kind of a pen tool. This is chewed up because it's old. It's really old. And uh, kind of a device like this. This is the bare minimum. So when you're drawing on this, this replicates the screen. So if I was to draw like this on the screen, uh, I mean on this tablet, I would look at the screen and it would kind of, uh, you know, parallel that on the actual screen. It has pressure sensitivity. Uh, that is pretty much kind of what those tablets are for. They, they, uh, the people use, uh, what do you call it, Centiques, which is where you can draw directly on the computer screen. That's another thing. I have one of those as well, and I'll show that in another video. But right now what I want to go over is I want to go over the bare minimum option if you want to get into digital painting and it's something you've seen um, don't use a mouse the mouse is very very bad it causes carpal tunnel syndrome we're using a mouse it kind of uh if you want to draw first off the control is awful for if you want to paint it's almost it's pretty much impossible uh if you want like that painterly painterly look you know, that kind of uh, translucent, the opacity, the, the sensitivity, that you're not gonna get any of that on a mouse. So you pretty much need something like this. You need a tablet. I always recommend a Wacom, Wacom's the best. I don't know why anybody goes outside of Wacom. Maybe one day I will be able to uh, kind of review uh, other tablets outside of Wacom. But this particular model is, I think, as old as you get, where it won't be com a complete disconnect and kind of worthless. Um, this is the Intuos 3 Wacom tablet, Intuos 3, and uh, I, I'll put the link in the description below. I think the Intuos 2, the Intuos 2 is a little bit out, too outdated, doesn't really work. Um, I got this for $150, and I believe it's still about $150, and the thing I like about this, I've had it for about four years, it is so durable. I take it to cafes, I take it everywhere. I've dropped it like a hundred times. Like stuff right here is kind of rubbed off the writing, but I have dropped this thing uh, like so much, like at least a hundred times. And it still works. Um, the, the, there was something, I did have an older one before this. There was an issue. So the way this cord kind of comes in the back here, uh, it did kind of wear, the cord eventually was worn out so much that it, the device stopped working, but that took many years. Uh, like I said, this one's four years old, it's still working. Um, I did lose the pen once, that's the thing, you can never lose this pen. See this, this gunky pen, this is completely uh, Frankenstein, this is complete, uh, you know, not very good condition because I was messing with it. Um, <clears throat> but for the most part, it's because I cut right into it trying to do an experiment and it didn't work, but don't worry, that was years ago. <laughs> Uh, these pen, uh, this pen uh, is specific to this uh, type of device, so don't lose it. That's, that's that's very important. I try to string to it. It's pretty hard to keep track of those things. And um, the pen alone is like 80 bucks separately if you lose it. I actually did lose it one time, and I managed to get it uh, for 30 bucks used on Amazon. But y these come together, by the way. The one, 150 will be the set just to make that clear. And you can have, I, I think new, near new, or you can just get a used one. I, I got this used by the way. And this, after that I used it for four more years. But uh, in terms of the technical ability, we can do that in another video. Um, but this is the tool that I recommend for the bare minimum, the cheapest you can get. Uh, if you get like a Centique, which I have as well, uh, those can range from $700 to, uh, about two thousand dollars, depending on what model you get and what um, you know, kind of what year. This one, like I said, is one hundred and fifty bare minimum. You can afford that, and for how long it lasts? I mean, one hundred and fifty for like, like I'm at least four years. Dropping it over and over again, it's still working. It works great. 
Uh, the drivers that you get are free online. That's another thing. They give you a CD with drivers and sometimes they're out of date. But you just go on the internet and you download them for free and then it works. Uh, it works on every, any device. I've used it on my laptop. I've used it on my home computer. I've used it on um, my other laptop. Um, but yeah. So that's, that's pretty much the answer to that question. Bare minimum to start digital painting. I'll go over technical stuff in another video, but uh, let me know if you guys have any questions about this device. Otherwise, I, I don't, it's not really, there's not a whole lot to really go over. I mean, really fast before I go, the, there's uh, little buttons over here, and you can kind of program those to kind of be whatever it is that you want to be. I can program, I usually use this as the alt, the color select tool. Right here, I can, um, you know, kind of, the, I can make the brush bigger and smaller. That's what I assign them to do. There's a scroller right here as well. You can zoom in and out uh, with the pressure sensitivity of your uh, finger just by doing that. And it makes things relatively quick. And uh, like I said, you get used to it too. There's, there's this kind of uh, mind and mind, how do you say that? It's hand eye coordination with this. In the beginning, it is a little weird to kind of kind of draw right here and you're looking at the computer screen. It is a little bit of a disconnect at the start, but you do get used to it really fast. You just have to do it every day. And um, yeah, that's about it. Let me know if you have any questions, guys. Uh, please, if you are gonna get into digital painting, buy this. Do not get those weird off brands or anything like that. Buy Wacom. Wacom's like the biggest brand, like Wacom. And like I said, if you have no money, <laughs> get this one, the Intuos 3. Intuos 3, Intuos 3. I'll put the link in the description. See you later, guys.